Good day to all my avid royal fans and welcome back to the channel. Prince Harry and William's rift can be healed, but Meghan Markle is sticking to her guns over staff bullying allegations. Robert Lacey revealed that while Harry is ready to admit making mistakes of sheer temper, his brother and wife are not ready to say the past is the past. Lacey told of how William reportedly threw Harry out of Kensington Palace over bullying allegations made against Meghan. The Duchess of Sussex was accused of bullying two PAs out of the royal household and targeting a third member of staff in an email sent by Communications Secretary Jason Snuff in October. Mr Lacey said, What's interesting is that on one side we've got William who doesn't seem prepared to concede anything and on the other side friends have told me that Harry wouldn't mind reconciling and then it's Meghan who is sticking to her guns on this issue. It should surely be possible for both sides to say the past is the past. It's very regrettable that Meghan doesn't withdraw, just a little. Why can't she say it was the pressure? I was getting used to this incredibly complicated system. I was pregnant. I couldn't sleep. What the fuck ever? I was wondering about all night firing off emails. Perhaps in retrospect, I went over the top about it. As quoted by a friend who claimed the allegations had led to William throwing Harry and Meghan out of Kensington Palace. The Sussexes split off to form a new office at Buckingham Palace in March 2019, before quitting the firm and UK for a lucrative life in the US. When Harry and Meghan's Oprah Winfrey interview was announced earlier this year, Scarf's email alleged bullying was leaked to the Times. It suggested Meghan's staff found her difficult to work for and claimed she would fire off email demands as early as 5am. She has strongly denied all allegations of bullying. Meghan leveled damning allegations of her own in the primetime tell-all with Oprah, accusing the palace of leaking false stories about her, neglect and racism towards her yet-to-be-born son Archie. With Harry and William set to stand side by side for the unveiling of a statue of Princess Diana in Kensington Garden, Mr Lacey said, Harry is prepared to acknowledge the role that just sheer temper played at unfortunate times, notably in the so-called blindsiding of early 2020. He actually is prepared to admit in a way that William doesn't seem to be. The fact that both of them are eh, short-tempered, both of them are Spencers, if you like. There must be a way of playing it down, surely, and just moving forward. Wouldn't that be nice? Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Leave your comments below, like, and subscribe to our channel for more juicy royal content. Until tomorrow, goodbye for now.